What's going on guys? We all know how acid can be a very needed resource at the moment. I'm going to show you a bunch of ways to get a lot of acid fast along with a lot of XP. So you have to be in a polluted zone. It has to pump the, it pumps polluted water into the osmosis water purifier. It has to be the osmosis one. Then after it makes impure acid, you move the impure acid to the barrels. Now, it'll do the polluted water into impure acid all by itself, but once you have a big stack of impure acid, you have to put it in the brewing barrel. And the osmosis water purifier will make purified water and impure acid. So it's just it's just one step. You just have to move it, that's all, to the brewing barrels. It just takes a lot of power. So just make them aware that they need a lot of power. So the polluted pump is one of the ways to do it. It's a very slow process and you do get it over time. However, the next one is my mate has a skill where you get a chipset which sells for 12,000 points at a time. With that, with my skill where I can craft acid, it's a massive combination because it requires points that you sell and all it needs after that is sulfur. It takes about eight hours for a stack of 100, but if you have an advanced synthesis bench, you can do five stacks at a time and have multiple of those. So if you have the points and you have the sulfur, you can get a thousand or more while you sleep. Don't forget there's also a skill that allows you to smelt down silver and gold ore and that actually sells for a lot of money as well, a lot of points. And now we're going to go into silos. Silos are an insane way of getting XP. They're rather easy to do and if you just run them constantly you get BPs, you get XP and you get a lot of acid. We come out with like 100 acid every single time, we come out with 10, 20,000 XP at a time and we come out with multiple blueprints every single time. Silos have to be one of the things that you always run. If you don't run those all the time to try and level up to max level then you're doing something wrong because it is really insane and the items you get from it are just crazy. Not to mention the XP and everything else. When you get to level cap it might not be so good but to be honest the items you get from it are insane oh 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 7000 damage how much are you hitting for with the purple sniper mine i'm doing like 6 to 7k and i haven't even got an I'm upgraded doing like 15, 15k jesus okay. so it's about the same Easy. The pistol hits for 700. <laughs> oh. Careful now. All that big damage. Oh. Better than the 200. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I just got a f***ing legendary um, melee weapon. I got a nice. legendary uh, upgrade. Look at this thing. Look at this what thing. What the hell is that? You got the, you got the sledgy. <laughs> it's called the scourge. <laughs> oh, dude, that's disgusting. I love it. Oh so a lot of silos actually have two sections to it. One's a seepage zone, I know, the, the, the word's disgusting, and the other area is the main boss. Usually you can get two lots of main loot, which is insane, and the XP you get from those bosses are just insane. Like I said, you get a lot of acid as well. With the silos, you can also set it to easy, you can set it to medium, and you can set it to hard. There's options when you go into a silo to be able to do that, to get more XP, better loot, and everything else. So if you've got good guns and you guys are pretty thick, then you should probably go for the hard and get some really thick loot. And I'm showing you what I get in these. I don't get the best stuff, but my mate kept getting legendary stuff every single time. He got a new weapon that was insane. Hey, look at this plasma ammo that I can make now. Hey, back out. There we go. Hey, we did it. We killed a fridge. Easy yeah, we still gotta Standard find... Jet. We gotta find the seepage zone, though. What'd we get? Ooh! Legendary sniper rifle. How you getting let? Mate, I got a blue again. Hey, I got a, I got a purple sniper. And my third and final tip for getting acid and for getting XP and loot is to do these extraction events where you set up and you get a bunch of loot. As you can see, the type of loot we're getting is actually rather insane. I get roughly 10,000 XP per one of these and it's just crazy. The amount you get from this and it's fun. It's, it's kind of fun. You got to build up defenses and you got to defend the, the tower. 
So you enable the event and when you enable it you have to put down defenses the and there's like the metal barricades, there's wooden barricades, there's traps, there's turrets, there's everything you need as you can see sandbags and all. It's actually really in depth and rather fun. It's a great way for XP like I said and a great way to get acid. Oh, there's a lot of them over the back end, yeah. Destroyed. Oh, okay, they're sitting in the window. Just shoot That's the grenade hard. at him. I'm shooting grenades at him? He's dead. As the waves come to an end, you'll notice that it's actually not too hard to do this. The bosses are rather easy, the XP and acid you get from this is really insane, and as you can see, it doesn't go on forever. So it's actually a really fun thing to do with your mates to hang out. My mates got to level 50 by just doing this and a few other things. I'm level 44 or 45 now in real time, and the max level is going to be level 100 soon, so we need good ways of XP grinding. What did I get? Nice. 120. And now I'm going to talk to you guys about the final way of getting good XP. Not acid, but XP. And you want to know what that is? If you do the main storyline, if you focus hard on the main storyline, go to your map, go to tasks, and go to the... If you go to all the tabs across the top, they will have heaps of tasks for you to do. And if you do those, the XP you get from each of those missions is actually insane. My mate did that for an hour and a half and got to level 50. So, that will conclude the tips on how to get acid and XP really easy on Once Human. If you guys want more videos like this and all the stuff I've found out, all the testing I've been doing, let me know down below. Comment down below and let me know by liking the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Yeah, the dog's not as good in PvP as the samurai because I can shoot it. I can't shoot the samurai. Oh no, I don't think there's any content here, brother. And just for the end, I'm going to leave you guys with the base defense. You activate this thing here, it makes things come for your base, makes sure you've got turrets and everything. And there'll be an umbrella later you've got to watch out for, because if her umbrella hits your base, it's a goner. But I'll leave you with this fight. It's another way of getting good XP, and it brings acid to your base as well. However, it's a lot of fun as well, and I just wanted to add it in just for a little bit of fun for the end of the video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'll see you in the next one.